Conflict and Courage, May 10th. God remembered. I love this title. I pray that God will remember you today. The text is Judges 16, 28. And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember me. In suffering and humiliation, a sport for the Philistines, Samson learned more of his own weakness than he had ever known before. And his afflictions led him to repentance. As his hair grew, his power gradually returned, but his enemies regarded him as a fettered and helpless prisoner, felt no apprehension. No one thought to keep shaving his head. <laughs> the Philistines ascribed their victory to their gods and exulting, they defied the God of Israel. A feast was appointed in honor of Dagon, the fish God, the protector of the seas. From town and country throughout the Philistine plain, the people and their lords assembled. Everybody came. Throngs of worshipers filled the vast temple and crowded the galleries about the roof. It was a scene of festivity and rejoicing. There was the pomp of the sacrificial service followed by music and feasting. Then as the crowning trophy of Dagon's power, Samson was brought in. Shouts of exultation greeted his appearance. People and rulers mocked his misery and adored the God who had overthrown the destroyer of their country. After a time, as if weary, Samson asked permission to rest against the two central pillars, which supported the temple roof. Then he silently uttered the prayer, O Lord God, remember me, I pray thee and strengthen me i pray thee only this once O oh god that i may be at once avenged of the philistines with these words he encircled the pillars with his mighty arms and crying let me die with the philistines he bowed himself and the roof fell destroying at one crash all that vast multitude so the dead which he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. The idol and its worshipers, priest and peasant, warrior and noble, were buried together beneath the ruins of Dagon's temple. And among them was the giant form of him whom God had chosen to be the deliverer of his people. The contest, instead of being between Samson and the Philistines, was now between Jehovah and Dagon. And thus the Lord was moved to assert his almighty power and his supreme authority. Hope you have a great day today. Live courageously.